All right, so Jack is getting ready to install a window on the side of his uh, stealth camper. So he's going to take a step by step what he's doing. And the first thing he did, he has the ring that goes on the inside of the trailer. And when you go to make a template or cut the hole out, you want to size it to the ring, not the window, because this is a little bit larger than the window. So he's taking the liberty of making a uh, cardboard template and making sure that it fits. And at that point, we transfer it to the side of the of the cargo trailer. So let's take a look at that. So once Jack has transferred the uh, cutout to the to his template, then he then he puts it on the side of the trailer where he thinks he wants that window located, and uh, so he doesn't scratch up the surface. He's going to tape everything off. So when he goes to use a jigsaw and cuts it out, it's not going to mar up the side of his trailer. So jigsaws will. Yes, they it chatter. Yes, it will. So Jack, he is set and ready punch some holes and get ready to cut that out what do you think jack yep we're ready i i just want to verify all my measurements first all right but uh it's better to me better to measure twice and cut once right, right yep. <laughs> so, yeah that's so as jack gets ready to cut what he's going to do is he's going to cut that window and it's going to be centered right underneath of his cabinet here and uh, that way when he's camping he opens this window he also has this window he can open that up and he's got a nice cross breeze going through so Jack has come a long way we're gonna get this window installed and tightened in and yeah I think he's gonna like that alright so he has the uh, layout of his window cut out using his template and uh, you can see the outline right here and I think what he's going to do next is he's going to punch a couple of holes in and take his jigsaw and start cutting that out then also go on the inside and uh, finish cutting that out then uh, then we'll clean up some edges around here before we uh, get ready to set that window in alright he's going to do some pilot holes and at this point there's no turning back Jack key to good jigsaw cutting is go slow and let the saw do the work and that way you can follow the line better. Got a nice hole in there. Yeah, it's not where we want it. The reason I had all of these lines here was for the interior stuff, so I located everything for my interior so I knew when I was where I cut anything. Gotcha. That way you're not cutting into cabinets and walls. Right. <laughs> that would be a bummer. And always use the blue painter's tape. I made the mistake on the other window and used the brown tape. <laughs> no, that doesn't like to peel off, does it? It doesn't peel off. <laughs> we got the tape cleaned up. Now we got the file. We're going to file this sharp edge so it doesn't, no filings or anything gets into our butyl. And we're going to do the same thing on the inside. We'll fly all that so everything is clean. When you put your um, waterproofing on, you don't want a bunch of sharp edges or chips behind it. So that's what we're going to do now. 
because this camper has a metal it's an aluminum uh, siding so we don't want any of that in our waterproofing so we're getting caught in the rain but one of the things we wanted to do is take the Eternabon tape and uh, go around the edge we started here on the center and worked our way around and then we uh, overlapped right here and pressed it up against the, the side of the trailer and wrapped it around to the inside so if for some reason it ever leaks in behind the window it won't go in between the trailer skin and the uh, insulation so just another uh, little protective deal and now we're going to uh, button up because it's raining okay that's our rainproofing for right now and then uh, once it's uh, done what it's going to do we'll pick up right where we left off all right so the rain has passed and now we've got a game plan so we have our eternal bond tape wrapped around our uh, our trailer here so we can seal the uh, insulation and if any water does leak through it won't come inside and then uh, we're gonna put a couple of layers of butyl tape on the outside and then on the inside Jack has made kind of like a picture frame for the ring now the ring that we have is a, a little bit wide so that's why we kind of spaced it out and it wasn't worth a three hour drive for a five dollar piece so we improvised or Jack improvised so we're gonna put the butyl tape on the outside and then we're gonna come in and we're gonna put a little bit of butyl tape on the inside just for security sake and then uh, we'll put the window in place I'll hold that on the outside Jack is gonna go ahead and begin to fasten the window in place and we'll almost be done Tell me if I need to go up or down. Down just a little bit. Okay. Looking good? Yep. Yeah, um, Looks like this end could go up, or this, well, this end could go down. Yep, right there. Yeah, that's pretty close. Okay. So I'm going to hold the window in place while Jack puts his uh, ring in, and uh, he's going to pre drill a few holes and draw that window in. Take a look at it. Yep. It sucked in nice. So the inside is going to be really good. So we got four corners in the, in the uh, how about this? We got four screws in the corners and then we'll start sucking everything up. Now we'll, Jack will go around and pre-drill all the holes and then uh, one by one start slowly uh, drawing everything in and get that sealed pretty tight. good and so there is the window installed so Jack has his frame around the window and uh, all the screws sucking everything in so we got butyl tape behind the frame and also on the outside so it's kind of 
bleeding out really well. And so we'll let that set and let it compress for a little while. And then Jack will come out and he'll clean that up. And then with a he'll plastic putty knife. Plastic putty knife, yeah. Don't use metal on your siding. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, once that is cleaned up, then Jack is going to tape off the window frame and around the edge of the uh, trailer here and he will put some silicone, black silicone, uh, to really seal it up. So Seal the butyl. Yep. And that is how Jack installs his window. Because <laughs> butyl never dries. No. So you got to seal it. Yep. And we have the boss hard at work over here. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.